Hello, everybody. Hello. It's the Kett family. It's been a while since we've uh, been able to post a video. We're out in the garden, of course, because uh, the sun is shining and we do not want to go into our house until it's clean. Because boy, oh boy, it's been a long time in quarantine. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, so this week, this Shabbat is a very special Shabbat. All Shabbats are special, but this one's very special. If we were in shul, it would be a big bumper week. That is because there's not just one Parsha that we read this week. How many Parsha are there this week? Anyone know? Two. Well done, Dusty! Very there's good, two Dusty. Parsha. And also, it's Rosh Chodesh. So it would be really a bumper double whammy um, Shabbat this week. Anyone know what Parsha it is this week? What's it called? Tazriya Taz and Mitzorah. Tazriya and Mitzorah. It's a bumper double whammy. It's Tazriya and Mitzorah. And the Parshiot of Tazriya and Mitzorah talk a lot about what would happen to people um, if they spoke Lashon Hara. If they spoke badly about people. If they gossiped. Is gossiping good or is gossiping bad? Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Usually bad. <laughs> gossiping is usually bad. And, uh, and we read in the Torah about the uh, different things that would happen to people that, were, um, that would have spoken Lashon Hara back in the deer. Um, and in fact, it actually talks about how they would be punished and they would have to be sent outside of the camp or sent outside of the town or sent outside of the city. And they would actually have to be isolated and quarantined from everybody. So uh, it's, it's a lot to think about this time. Uh, and it's a great um, it's a great topic to think about how we talk about people, how we treat people, and we've got an amazing experiment to show you guys. So okay, here we so go. So we've got two apples that look both they both look green. So what we're going to do, kids, we're going to hold this apple first, and each of us are going to say something nice about this apple. Okay? It's going to be really cool. Okay? This apple looks really yummy, juicy, and green. It's so beautiful. This apple looks very, very, very spotty and green. And nice. Nice. We have to say nice things. Dusty, it's your chance. What do you want to say to the apple? You can say you're a delicious apple. And it's your friend, baby. <laughs> okay, you hold the apple. Do you want to say it? Can you say you're a delicious apple? No? Okay, Miri's going to have a chance and then this, Daddy will have a chance. This apple looks very ripe and juicy. I just want to eat you so much. <laughs> so delicious, so beautiful. What a beautiful apple. So we're going to leave this one on the side. And then for this one, we're going to say all yucky things. We're going to like speak lush and horror about this apple. You are a horrible, yucky apple. Donia, your chance. You are icky, stalky, yeah, and you have a massive stalk apple. <laughs> so do you want to say something to it? You are very brownie and stinky. <laughs> and you, have, you have brown spots and you're very mushy. Why are you even here? No one likes you. No one appreciates you. No one wants to see you. Uh, don't like you, Apple. We're going to throw you all over the garden. So now we're going to do a test. We've got the nice Apple that we spoke all nice things to it. And we're going to see what happens to the inside of it. Do you think it's going to be nice and clean? Yes. Look at that. It's so beautiful and nice inside. Shall we see what happened to the apple that we spoke badly about? Yeah. Shall we? Should we see if it made it sad and maybe it made it all go brown inside? What do you think? Yeah. Do you think so? <gasps> oh. Ew. Ew, look at that. There's loads of spots inside and it looks really let get, horrible. Let me get it closer to the camera. Sorry. The camera, you must see this. On the inside, the apple is so hurt and in pain and even though it looks just like a normal apple on the outside on the inside it is bruised and broken and sad because we spoke not nicely to it so do you understand what it means children do you know that you and all of you danielle right even though we don't look exactly the same all people look similar right so they all have the same outside body and inside, we can't see what's inside your heart, right? We can't see what's inside your head from the outside. Okay. Only you know those things, right? So if I say something nice to you, it can make you feel really happy. But if I say something hot, not, not nice to you, sometimes it can make you feel sad. And even though it won't make Miri feel sad, it will make you feel sad. So that's why we have to be super careful with it what we make, speak about people. It might people. make Miri happy. It might make Miri happy. Not about you to say something bad. It will say, <laughs> if I say the same thing to both of you, what might make you feel sad? Because you might be more sensitive. So you, 
then yeah, Miri, it might be the other way around about different things. Yeah. So that's our message, guys. On the outside, we can all be putting on a good face and smiling and making everyone think that we're okay. But on the inside, we might be very, very sad from the way that people talk to us. So we have to be thoughtful and we have to be careful about how we treat each other, how we talk about each other and who we're saying things to. Because on the inside, you just never know what you're doing to someone. We've got one more trick to show you with an apple. So while you're just about to get the trick ready, Daddy, I'm going to say one more thing. So do you think that Losh and Hara is only speaking about somebody? Do you think that it's also Losh and Hara if you type something and send it to somebody on Zoom? It, like if I you message somebody. Typing something. Say it louder. I think it's also typing something. So it is. It, you're exactly right. So not only do we have to be careful about what we speak to people, it's also what we say to people in different ways, like by them. typing a text message or saying something to somebody on Zoom etc you, <laughs> you can eat it if you want you can make it. yeah you have to say it right oh, so what we're going to show you inside here is you all know what the inside of an apple looks like don't you that's normally when you cut the apple from top to bottom but have a look what happens when you cut the apple from side to side inside every single apple is a star look at that wow. have you ever seen such a thing inside every single apple is a star because inside each and every one of us we are stars we are amazing we are beautiful dropped a pit <laughs> gonna, have, gonna have an apple tree there now inside each and every single person on this planet we are amazing we are special we are talented we are beautiful neshamas shane upon him as they say in yiddish we are all stars on the inside so we wish you all shabbat shalom shabbat shalom everybody we wish you shabbat all a chodesh tov because it's rosh chodesh er today we've got yom atzma'ut coming up around the corner and all types of exciting things on the bushy online channel and not only that but seven o'clock tonight kabbalat shabbat rabbi Feldman and myself are going to be streaming live to the whole united kingdom so come and say hi to us on zoom Details will be in the comments on the Facebook group. Come say hi to us on the live stream with thousands of other people. It's going to be amazing. And hopefully, if the weather's nice, we'll be in the garden as well. We're going to post candle lighting times at the end of the video, as well as uh, the end of Shabbat times, because we keep forgetting to look those things up before we record. Uh, but we wish you all... Shabbat Shalom! Shabbat Shalom! Bye!